no. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Checking Out Chili Sauces with Chili Chump. Today we're checking out Tiger Sauce. This isn't one I've heard of before, but I'm very interested to try it out. The ingredients start with chilies for a change. A lot of the times commercial hot sauces will have water or even vinegar as the first ingredient because that is normally the most abundant ingredient inside these sauces. But this one here, it starts off with cayenne peppers, sugar, not really a fan of sugar in hot sauces there. It has its place, but we'll see how it goes with this one. Uh, sugar, distilled vinegar, water, salt, crushed red peppers. It's a little bit more heat there. Xanthan gum, chili peppers. <laughs> they've, got, <laughs> they've got chilies on you three times. Um, there's a caramel color. It is a very odd color. It's not a natural looking color to me. And it looks like it's got a lot of emulsifier in there. It's a strange texture. We'll see how it tastes and how it feels in the mouth. Uh, hydroly hydrolyzed corn protein, tamarind extract. I like tamarind in my sauces. Natural flavors containing anchovies, oregano, cumin, garlic powder, and contains fish. Well, obviously, because you said it has anchovies. It says here for meat, seafood, and anything else that can stand up to the sweet heat. So let's see how it goes. Uh, let's get this open. Yeah, uh, some seeds in there, so it's not completely strained, which I kind of like some sauces. It's nice to have a little bit of the actual peppers in there, but uh, let's see how this smells. Uh, I'm getting quite a bit of the cayenne. Uh, it doesn't say whether it's fermented, but have a bit of the smell of the cayenne. Let's, let's give it a try. Um, it's nothing that's really standing out to me. I thought maybe there'd be a bit of a fishy smell because of the anchovies, but I'm not really getting that. Maybe we'll get it in the taste. Get a decent amount there. It is a sweet sauce. It has got sugar as one of the main ingredients. Yeah, I can smell the cayenne. That, that's a good sign. At least that's primarily what I'm smelling is the peppers, the chilies. But let's give it a try. No, <laughs> that's not my style. Um, texture, as I thought when I looked at this, it's very gelatinous, if that's a way to describe it. Uh, it's kind of what happens when you add too much xanthan gum. And then the sweetness. Sweetness and tamarind. You've got to be careful. Having too much sweetness when you're adding tamarind, it gives it a bit of a sickly taste. Make my mouth water though. Um, all that I'm getting up front, it, it's, it's literally like, uh, th there's no heat to it whatsoever. I, I really can't detect much heat. I mean, there's probably some in there, but not really. I think it overwhelms it with the sugar and yeah, some of these other flavors that are there. I can really get the tamarind up front. Tamarind is a potent ingredient. I do use it with some of my sauces, but very sparingly. You, you gotta be careful with it. Uh, a lot of umami in there, but that sweet just detracts from it. Uh, yeah, not not a big fan of this. I won't go, I won't go too hard on this. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's not, it's not a, it's not one I would necessarily buy again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, stay spicy.